Fish and Doctors Adventures. Look at this amazing day. Beautiful sunshine coming up over there. So gorgeous out today. And I'm here fishing on the lake again. We've been staying at the cabin. Hopefully lake, so I've been learning the lake, fishing different spots. Hopefully I found a good one for this morning with the sun coming up. I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. A lot of guys ask me, are you able to catch fish through the ice on flies? And the answer is yes. Sometimes they're very effective, little balance, leeches, scuds, nymphs. They all seem to do a pretty good trick. Sometimes you don't even need bait. So on a bait ban lake, that's definitely what I've used in the past. Fishing in Alberta on say lakes for grayling or some places where they have bait bans, you can capitalize on using flies. So I'm gonna give that a good try today and see if I can hook up with some fish on flies, like balanced leeches, maybe some scuds, see what happens. We'll combine them uh, with a flashing spoon and some just on their own, and we'll see if there's enough fish in the area that that'll work. I may have to tip them with bait if they're coming in and not committing, but uh, hopefully we can just get them on their, their own without any attractive uh, additional spice, okay? So we got beautiful day. Hopefully the fish cooperate because it's perfectly calm right now and the sun is shining. What a great day to be on the ice. Let's pop some holes and get on it. Okay, while I'm drilling holes as usual, I'll set up the jig and jaw jacker. And I put on a balanced leech, black one, a little pink head. And uh, because this thing doesn't move very much, and it can't really entice a bite. I'm gonna cheat a little and put half a mealworm on it. And then with these dubbing leeches, you can kind of like form the shape you want on the leech if you get your fingers a little wet before you put it down. Make sure it's balanced the right way. I like when they're just slightly below horizontal. That's way when the fish grabs them. I think they get hooked a little better. Just slightly less. Don't have it tipped up just slightly down okay these flies are so light sometimes you got to add a split shot to get them down if you're fishing deeper water but to be honest the trout love that super slow fall and i've talked to some guys who use them and they say they'll just lift it up to the surface and let it slowly fall down over and over and that's when the trout usually come in and smoke it we're just going to put it about a foot and a half two feet off bottom there we go, turn our jigger on. Let's see if we catch any fish on there while I'm drilling holes. Looks like a real clean bottom, sandy bottom. So this is where I was fishing yesterday and did pretty good. You see, I marked an X on the spot to remind me that this was the hole that was producing yesterday. So I dropped my jaw jacker in there. Okay, catch us a fish jaw jacker. That didn't take long at all. Jaw jacker on the fly. Right away, fish came in and grabbed it. I tell you, these balanced leeches work really well. Let's see, we got a decent fish here. He's not huge. But that's on the balanced leech. No flash or no nothing. Just a little black dubbing leech. And I put a tiny piece of mealworm Next time I'm not even going to put the mealworm on and we'll see if it makes a difference if we catch another one. Beautiful rainbow trout. Look at this fish. Look at that gorgeous fish on that dubbing leech. Look at that. Right in the beak on the jigging jaw jacker. What a fat little piggy of a fish. Great fish to start the day. This might be a good show. We'll call it a leech fest or a fly fest. Let's catch some more fish. Let's release this guy. Okay, see here's a whole box. I use this in the summer and winter time. So you see I have a lot of coronamids in here. But in the winter time, what I like to use is these little ice jigs that I've tied up. 
and uh, ice flies. So you see, it's just on a little jig, like a 1 16th or 1 32nd ounce jig. I tie some marabou feathers and a little bit of flash and sometimes some rubber legs. These work really well for trout some days that outfishes everything else. And like for the balanced leeches, this is what I'm talking about, is a fly like that. It's got a J style hook and you use a pin with a tungsten or other metal bead and then the 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 fly sits horizontal like that and that's what some guys call an ice jig an ice fly and that's what we'll try using today some of those some of the jigs I've tied with marabou and we got all different colors and the sizes some are little tiny guys sometimes those work better these uh, micro flies these work really well sometimes uh, if you need to downsize and uh, that's what we're gonna try today it's a nice pretty box lots of colors and the fish like it in the summertime we use these coronamids maybe I'll give them a try today but I don't usually uh, fish coronamids in the winter time sometimes I fish little nymphs like this though so maybe coronamid will work but sometimes in the winter a little little nid, midge or pupa or whatever like that beadhead nymph works really well or a little scud I don't have any scuds in this box but they work well too okay so that's my box and we'll try to give it a try today I don't even know if there's many fish in the area right now so I'm gonna grab a flashing spoon with a dropper fly okay let's see if that works okay so since I'm having trouble locating fish I'm gonna use the flashing spoon today since it's really clear water here and I put a little balanced micro leech black with red head no bait let's see if we can catch a fish on it man yesterday this place was really good around noon so I don't know if the bike comes on later here or what but right now there are no fish around caught that first one on the jaw jacker right away and now I haven't marked a fish so kind of interesting even with this flashing spoon not sure where they are we'll find them though so I was fishing all this time with my other rod not even marking fish and all of a sudden I decided to go drill more holes because I wasn't see anything so I set this jaw jacker I was fishing this hole for a long time and I didn't see anything this is a beautiful fish too that's a beauty oh that's a beautiful fish wasn't marking anything with my flashing spoon and fly so I dropped down this fly again just with the black balance leech piece of mealworm and not even I just walked the auger over and went off already look at that beautiful rainbow trout that's a great fish what a pretty fish on that balanced leech look how they take those leeches on that jigging jaw jacker one. Pull and drag here. 
Yeah, I need a little looser. Ooh, that's another nice fish. Beauty fish. That's another 19 incher. That last one was 19 and a half inches. This one's about 19 on that micro leech below the flasher spoon. Beautiful. I just slowly pulled it away from him and he crushed it. Just like the doctor ordered. Okay, we'll let this guy go. Oh no, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down the wrong. No, don't go down there. No, 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 no. There we go. He's gonna go down through the slush layer. He turned into the slush. A tip, don't drop your reel in the slush water when it's sub-zero temps because they freeze up pretty bad and make it really hard to use, so don't drop it in the slush water. That one got off. So as you can see this fishing with flies especially these balanced leeches works really well in the winter season either on its own or below a flashing spoon if you want to bring fish in what did i tell you once again i just get this back in go drill some holes and goes off again another nice one but just on the balance leech, without anything else, I ran over here because I was drilling holes. Turk looked on my shoulder and fish on. Yeah, balance leech, nothing else. Slow presentation, not that aggressive. And that's what the fish want today. Beautiful little fish. About a 15 incher. What a gorgeous fish. Look at that pretty fish. What a beauty. Balance leech, look at that. Seems to be working well today. Oh no, don't go there, don't go there buddy. Go down this way, they keep trying to go under the slush ice layer. Well, it's been an interesting day. Started out bright and sunny, probably a bit of a high pressure system. Fish were not that cooperative. They liked the jaw jacker. I think it went off four or five times in the short amount of period it's been in because most of the time I've been fishing with my rod, jigging with a flashing spoon and a fly dropping below it. And I don't see hardly any fish even come in, but every time I put this thing in for a few minutes, it goes off. I've had the GoPro camera for underwater to see what's happening below the ice. So that'll be kind of interesting in this video today. But it seems definitely like one of those days when losing the flash or spoon and just using a small, slower presentation is probably all they want. I hate fishing like that though, so I stuck with the spoon and tried to pound it out. I did get one on the rod, but most of the fish I saw just came in and took off right away. So it's one of those days where you're better off going to a smaller, slower presentation and probably there's fish still in the area that will eat, but they're not into chasing a larger spoon, which is so different from yesterday where they're actually hitting my flasher spoon. This is why if you want to be on top of the game, you really have to change things up, respond to what the fish are doing from day to day, and don't just rely on your last or past experience. You got to try different things every day, every time you're out. Okay, so remember that next time you're out fishing. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this little episode uh, with Fishing with Flies. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, comment below, and get outside and go fishing. See you later.